Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and in this video we're going to show you a really good, affordable, well we hope it's good, we're going to test it out on the channel. Uh, this is the JJRC H11WH. If at any point during this video you like what you see, we'll have a link in the description box below for you, so just scroll down, click that link, and check it out for yourself. Now, uh, we're going to unbox it really fast. Abby, you do the honors. Ah, nice. This box is kind of broken. <laughs> Should have done it right there. Yeah. The box is broken. Okay. Well, that's all right. <gasps> all right. Instructions. That's not okay. Actually, I like nice boxes. It's okay it's by me. It's coming blue down here. All right. We'll pass this over to the side. Oh, it's like those nice smooth. Oh yeah. We've had this blue. transmitter this style before, but this is the first time we've had this with altitude hold. So. Altitude hold is a really nice feature that allows you to not really have to worry about your throttle control on the left side. It's nice for new pilots and for experienced pilots, you guys know, uh, as well as I do, that it, it does take a lot of thinking out of it and it's a lot easier to fly when you have altitude hold. Mm -hmm. So that's super cool. While she works on continuing to unbox things, here is the quad itself. And I've had some that are shaped like this before. I like them because they're sleek and they're just, they just—they look really good. I, I like that low-profile design. The motors are mounted kind of sideways in the arms, and then they're geared out in these big circles on the bottom of the quad that you see here. This little circle under the prop—it's a geared-out motor, um, about the same size as like the Dramata Vista and Dramata Ominous motors. I really like this though. It's really cool. Lights are all over. Got lights on the back, lights on the front, lights on the bottom of the arms. Let's see. It's not plugged in. Ah, I was hoping I could take it on. That's good that it comes not plugged in. It shouldn't. In the quad, wow, that's a really big battery. You have an 1100 milliamp uh, one cell LiPo battery. Oh, so let me plug that in really fast fun. before we get out and fly it. I, I'm curious to see the lights. I want to see you. That's a pie. Hey, buddy. Good boy. So we kick it on, and yeah, that's awesome. Have you look at this? Neat. The lights, we have red on the front, blue on the back, and crazy bright green on the side. Look at those blinding, isn't it? Wow, oh, man, that's wild. That's really bright. Crazy. Very cool. So far, I'm really impressed by this. The quality is really nice. JJRC is, has a tendency of putting out some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the camera that mounts on the bottom of the quad. I see a micro SD slot. But no SD card. Check the card converter if it That's has one. I was one. looking for it. I, I found the one. charger. And there's an extra piece of foam for the top of the camera. Here are some extra screws for your prop guards and all that stuff. Okay, now because it's a Wi Fi quad, this is Wi Fi FPV, you're probably going to record directly to your phone, not to a memory card. That's, well, I'd say but there is a memory card slot. So if you probably like transfer it to another quad, you could use it. Or this camera could be set up as a 5.8 gigahertz camera as well. Mm -hmm. And if they use, the manufacturer probably uses the same mold, then they could probably uh, fly 5.8. Or maybe it'll, maybe you can just put a micro SD mm -hmm. card in there. Yeah. Well, here are the four spare props. Nice. Four little landing gear, which cool. are also what the screws are for. And a handy dandy screwdriver. And prop guards, did you show the prop guards too? I thought you did. Prop nope, guards. Yeah, so prop guards, great for a beginner pilot in this hobby. Uh, so if you have one or two quads, or maybe this is your first one you're looking at, so far I'm liking this. The next thing we need to do is just charge the batteries, plug it in, and block. We've made it out today with a really awesome looking uh, JJRC Bright quadcopter. This has the nice red on the front, super bright green lights on the side, and blue on the back. Some of the brightest, best looking LEDs I've seen. I've got the Wi-Fi already set up and it looks like a really good connection. I'm super impressed by a lot of the features, like uh, I have camera tilt control, altitude hold, it's a Wi-Fi FPV quadcopter. Abby, if you can get a really tight shot on that camera, watch this. I'm gonna press a button on my transmitter and the camera tilt is moving. I can't believe that that actually works. Uh, I'm so impressed by this for around $50. It's absolutely amazing. If it flies, this is going to be one of the biggest home runs we've had our hands on this year, just in time for Christmas. And uh, kind of works out perfectly. We've got our Ashland Park Christmas lights behind us, so my fingers are crossed for this quadcopter. I hope it does an amazing job. 
I brought the instructions out with me, but I tell you, I don't need them. I'm just gonna stuff them in my back pocket here because all of these functions on the transmitter are labeled. So we're gonna get this thing in the air and see if it works, because if it does, I promise you, this will be one of the best bangs for your buck of 2016. So let's take off and see how it does. Yeah, so we, uh, we scanned the QR code using my little QR code scanner app, and it was just right on the front cover of the instruction manuals. Downloaded super easy and uh, connected to the Wi-Fi easy and uh, nice. has the screen. It start stop button. Okay. So that's record. And let me hit record for you. So our FPV, I sincerely hope, is recording. This does have altitude hold, and we are dealing with a slight breeze, so if we see drifting, that's what's going on. I want to trim it up a hair. Do you have like a timer on your screen for I the do. recording? It says it's up to 13 seconds, so that's an indicator that we are actually recording. Let me take it up a little higher. I just want to show off these lights because uh, the bright green on the side is awesome. You got the blue on the back, green on the side, and red on the front. It's just absolutely amazing. The uh, Wi-Fi signal. It's not the most crystal clear I've ever seen, but check it out. I can use that signal to line up the shot of those Christmas lights there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know we have a flip function on here, so I want to try that Get out away really from quickly. the. Oh, okay, you're not very close to the so trees. So let's hit a flip, three, two, one. Maybe. May not have done it right. It might not do it. Give it more time to beep. Some don't do it when you have altitude hold on. So that's or, you're, or when you're filming. Right, so let's try to stop filming. And now I'll try to do a flip. Uh, let me tell it to save on the phone. Okay, now let's try again now that we're not filming. That's odd. I'm probably doing something wrong. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, okay, I want to turn filming back on. That's weird. Why didn't that work? work? I don't know. Now, I can tap this. And I'm at a higher rate, my top left, and that works just fine because I'm flying a much more agile flight now. And because I'm flying like that, let's uh, want to aim my camera up some mid-flight. So there you go. Now you should have a better view because I've aimed my camera up. Uh, now I can turn those nice bright lights off if I want to. Press and hold this button, I think. There we go. See, they kicked off. No more bright lights and I'm a stealth quad. <laughs> But I like his lights, so I'm going to turn them back on, press and hold the button. And it's back on. It's a labeled button, so I'm not even going to take the time to show you these functions at the end because everything is labeled. So let's go to a higher rate. Three beeps means we're in a higher rate. And we are zipping around. Very cool. Very agile. I'm not having to worry about the throttle at all because this is an altitude hold quad, and I love it. See if I have a higher rate. Back down to rate one. That's fine. Good. Okay, we have a few other functions. How's too. altitude hold working? It's perfect. I'm not touching it this whole time. I am doing y'all, but no altitude hold. I want to aim my you mean, camera. mean, but no throttle. Y'all, but no sorry, throttle. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Uh, I want to aim the camera again. So let's aim down a hair. Keep aiming down, 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 down. How far down. down does it go? It looks like I'm almost straight down. Wow. Just about. Let's bring it back here. Is the signal pretty looking, strong for yeah, Wi-Fi? Yeah, it's pretty good. And now I'm going to angle this. This is awesome. I haven't had a quad that I can control the camera without it being like a couple hundred bucks. I can't believe that works. Um, I should have headless mode. So now that it's beeping, I'm in headless mode. I'm rotating and I'm pushing away. It's working just fine. And it's, I've got a blinking light, so I'm guessing I've got a low battery. Oh, you haven't figured out the flip thing yet. No, I know. Or maybe I'm still in headless mode. That's what it was. No, okay. I stopped I filming because I was worried it wouldn't save. What else you got uh, on let's that Let's turn the camera back on. I believe Did you I take have, any pictures? No, I haven't done a picture yet, so let me, let me try that. Let me, let me aim my camera down a hair to get a nice little in range. Altitude hold is working. Stop filming and snap a picture. Let's see how that goes. Do one more. Let's go take a picture of this guy over here. Sorry, you don't have to film that. <laughs> I'm go. trying to get a good shot of uh, <laughs> those decorations. Let's aim the camera down, snap a picture. I was drifting. Yeah, there. you were drifting Getting windy, a lot. getting windy. <laughs> okay, I want to turn my camera back on. Hopefully it's saving all these files because it's pretty awesome. Okay, 
It's well, quiet too. Do you, you have any other butt? I notice did how quiet notice it is. that. Come bring it closer. So I have a return to home. I'm going to press it okay. and we'll see what it does. And there bye it goes. Bye. All the way. So it did not work very well. It's still blinking. Uh, I think I'm in headless mode. Yeah. So when you press that button, it does return to home and it puts it in headless mode at the same time, uh, which is different. But you know, I'm not disappointed that that doesn't work very well because it never works. And very this well. is a fifty-some dollar quad. <laughs> so yeah. How mad can you be? I'm in the second rate, so I'm going to zip around a little more, nice and low to the ground, get those Christmas decorations in the shot. They look really good. People are driving by thinking we're crazy. Maybe they think we're part of the show because the quad is so bright. <laughs> There's our blinking light. Oh. And see, it's kind of a sequencing blink. I want to stop filming. Oh, I wanted to get the flips to work. I know. See how it's And gonna, I didn't get to fly it. See how it's blinking one, two, three, four. And then oh, it neat. stops. Or That's that one, three, two, three. One, two, three, stop. and stops. That tells me we have a low battery. So I'm going to land. And I'm sorry that I didn't get the flips to work. And didn't let me fly. And. Uh, <laughs> but this is a keeper, so I, we may fly this again. So throttling down, and then you have that start-stop function there on your transmitter. The FPV worked, the, everything worked. For some reason though, when I hit my flip button and then I gave it a direction, it didn't want to flip. Now I know that you can fly this in a normal mode and an altitude hold mode, and we may have had it in the wrong mode to do flips. I, I'm sure this could do them, because the function is there. But even if not, all of the functionality that's on this, like every quadcopter that I have flips. Who cares? You press the button, it does a flip. So if you already have a quadcopter that does flips, this is one of the coolest camera drones on a dime that I've seen. All those functions. And it holds a big butt phone. <laughs> yeah, a big that. butt phone. Yeah. So that's Abby's, <laughs> Abby's phone there. That is crazy. Let's see if it saved those to the phone here. We can show them like the quality of it really yeah. fast even though they saw it live. Where would it have saved? Go to the first page. Okay. Now, hold Oops, on, too, too far. far. Too far. <laughs> the little camera or photo Photos. button, there you go. Click that camera first roll. one. Looks like it saved, so let's show them some of the footage here. Okay, if you can get a shot of that. Is there audio? There is no audio. No audio. That's fine, because just be okay. props grinding around and stuff. Okay. Well, you got it good. all right? Yeah. Yeah, that actually looks okay. They're saved, so that means they get to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> or they cool. already watched they it. They already watched it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to turn these off to save the battery. And let's get another charge on this because that was a lot of fun. While we're out here, maybe you'll get to fly, Abby. This is a cool quad. If you don't want to fly FPV, you probably get a longer flight if you take that camera off. You can fold this down into the transmitter. And that Neat. is just a really, really cool setup. Uh, I'm impressed. It has an on-off switch. That's nice. Everything on the transmitter is labeled. That's a rare thing in this hobby, at least for these cheaper quads. By far, some of the best looking LEDs to fly around. They were just as bright as all these lights plugged uh -huh, in. They were. You could see them at night really well. Great for orientation. It's a good size quadcopter, so if you're a newer pilot, very easy to see. You have altitude hold, which is amazing. And I'm saving one of the best features for last. The ability to control the camera angle up and down while you're flying is an outstanding feature that I've never seen on a quadcopter at this price point that works. Sometimes they're advertised as having that function, but they are far from working. This one worked and worked really well. Um, it is a bit like a preset. So you have probably like 10 preset angles, like notch, 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 notch. It's not a fluid movement, but that's okay. At least in my opinion for that price. Because at least you don't have to land, fix your angle, and then take it's off so again. You can just it's do it so good. It's so good. In the air. And the Wi Fi live feed works. Uh, the only thing I. And the camera saved! And it saved. <laughs> the only thing that I couldn't get to work, and is because this is a first flight and I didn't play around with it enough, was that flip function, the rollover. The I tricks. guarantee you, though, you probably were doing something wrong. I think so. You didn't read the instructions. But if this Nathaniel, didn't flip, I mean, Nathan. Personally, I would be more than okay with that because every quad I have has a quick little flip button. So to me, uh, I don't care. But if this was your only quad, maybe you'd want it to flip. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Is the flip ability enough to not buy something so amazing? I don't think so. I don't think so. But what do you think? 
And then uh, check out the link in the description too. Yeah, we'll have this link for you because this is so awesome that you need at least go check. They're it probably going to sell out. You know, the last thing we did on the channel uh, after we linked it that was a good quad, they sold out. So I think enough people are watching the videos now. Sometimes, sometimes. If they don't have a good stock on them, they actually sell out. This is one that I could see selling out. But uh, really, really cool. I like this a lot. We'll have this linked in the description box for you guys down below. Uh, what's your opinion? It does have prop guards too, and landing gear. Um, I just didn't put those on. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Check out those cool lights. Bye.